Hi there, I'm Hush, and welcome to Jay's Toy Collection UK. Thank you, Hush. I am Jay, and welcome to Jay's Toy Collection UK. And Hush, well, there was a reason he was doing the intro to this video, because that's what I have for you today. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you today Mafex Hush Huntress and Mafex Hush Nightwing, all the way from Japan. So Huntress has been with me for a few weeks, but Nightwing literally arrived hot off the press this morning. So I thought I'd jump on and do a nice little review and get them in the collection. So I'm on a bit of a streak with new figures at the moment. So we had Storm a couple of weeks ago, and then we've had the Marvel Legends, Doc Ock, etc. have arrived. So we're going to keep it going. So what I'm going to do in the first section is go over the packaging. So we will start with Nightwing himself then. So he's decked out in his classic blue from the Jim Lee Hush storyline. As you can see, he's well secured in the package there. He's got some of his accessories, his batons, his spare hands in there. No number on the front of this one. But that is a look at the front of the box. Spare head and all in there. And down the one side again, the Hush graphic. And we've got a picture of Nightwing looking sort of broody from the rear. On the other side, you get the full portrait of the figure, and I think they do reveal the number down there. Yes, number 175 in the Mafex line for Nightwing. And then the back of these Mafex boxes does usually give you a lot of sort of classic posing option, but this one comes from Amazon Japan, and they've gone and stuck a big, dirty barcode sticker right over the packaging. But you can see there the interchangeable screaming head, and uh, you've got the batons in the back. I believe that is a removable piece as well, but we will take a closer look in a second. Right, one out, one in, as they say. So here's Huntress again. So you've got the same sort of artwork as Nightwing on the front in terms of the Hush logo down there. You can see her sort of big stick thing. That's my best description. It looks like a nice soft goods cape, hopefully bendy wire. And again, alternate screaming head sculpt. And if you look really closely in the background, you can see sort of the Batman Hush comic book artwork so that is on the front cover there down the one side you can see a bit of my uh, battered box i think that probably was me though this one did come a few weeks ago from i believe this was hobby link japan i got this one from and there she is on the front there and there's your full body shot down the other side of the packaging and the number for her is 170 for huntress so a few releases in between those two but i'm definitely not a completionist on the mafex i ain't that rich and no big dirty sticker on the back of her box, so you can see some of the posing options. Now, if I'm clever, I usually do try and recreate some of these, but we will, we will see further in the video how I get on with that. So there's the packaging for them, so let's get them out of the box. Well, that went well, didn't I? I thought I'd try a fancy little shot of him leaning up in the packaging, and as soon as you take the cover off, all the bloody things fall out. So we'll, uh, we'll try that a different way. Right, we will do figure overview first, then we'll take a look at the accessories. So there is Nightwing in all his glory. Top half, and as I pan down, you should be able to see his bottom half there. So he is decked out in a very, very shiny sort of black paint. Very high metallic gloss on this Nightwing figure. So it does look really good in hand. I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick up all the particular gloss you can see on there. But it is, it is a really nice figure. Very nice paint sheen. The paint app seemed quite clean from what I can from what I can tell on him. So, so far in hand, looking rather good. So there's the front. Let's try Let's try a profile view. There he is from the left-hand side then. So you can actually see all the blue shading in his hair there. And again, you've got the blue paint, the blue stripe down the one side. Again, really, really clean on this figure. So that's nice so far. As we switch to the other side, then there's the right-hand side. But there's all the windswept hair in that uh, sculpt again very pretty clean paint apps on him and nice shiny shoes so looking good so far as we pan down for the uh, classic rear view so let's, let's just get in there let's get the money shot in there right now so they say steve rogers is america's ass but i think dick's ass takes this one what a peachy bottom we've got there from a from nightwing there and some nice some nice calf muscles as well just for good just for good measure right let's see if i can get a nice still focus on his head how close can i get it and how still can a man hold a camera it's like probably wobbly shaky cam but we can get a nice a nice close look at his head sculpt there and it is looking really good again very clean so so far as with a lot of mafex quite pleased with this right then accessories time so here's the alternate head for nightwing again very clean paint and you get the sort of screaming gritted teeth look and the blue shading 
on the head sculpt there. You get four pairs of interchangeable hands. He comes with fists on him, but you can swap out for sort of big grippers, small grippers, clenchers, and sort of choppy choppies, all sorts there. You've got the interchangeable back piece, so you can actually put his batons on his back. So if I get brave, I might see how that works, but you can interchange his back piece, so you don't have those sort of clips sticking out the whole time. You've got his sort of spinny spinnies here, so you've got the hands where the sort of baton is twirling. Some sort of rhythmic gymnastics from uh, from Nightwing. Are these a screamer sticks? I don't know. Did he change it to those later? God knows. We'll call them batons. Then you get his sort of single batons and his one attached to a bendy wire, so you can try sort of fancy poses. So that's your sort of accessory spread for Nightwing. Better try his articulation. Right then, man versus articulation. This normally goes well, so we'll see how we get on today. So we have got full tilt. Yeah, you get full tilt. You've definitely got a bent ball peg in there for the head. You get full rotation. You get, oh, you get serious sort of leany lean on there. Look at that. You can give you a full Michael Myers on the on the side. You've got neck articulation as well. So actually, you're posing on your head. It's going to be pretty good on old Dick himself. Of course, Dick Grayson grew up to be Nightwing. I've always wanted that classic Dick, but for now I'll have to take modern Dick. So come on, uh, Mafex and Mezco, let's have a classic Dick Grayson. Been campaigning for years. So you get butterfly joints there at the front, come all the way back, so you can get up to the infamous T, I suppose, there you get. And you can go fully back with that. Oh, maybe get the head. Look, oh, I've got a pose going on. I've got a pose going here. My goodness, ACBA, here I come. So, as well, you see, very smooth with these Mafex figures. So, do enjoy their articulation. I'm actually having fun with articulation for once. That's unusual. Double jointed elbow, just past 90. A little bit more past 90 on that side. Can't actually see the camera here. So, hopefully, actually is in focus. And you can see what I'm doing. Well, I'm just acting like a twat. So, you've got full rotation at the waist. And you've got a oh, nice deep lean as well. Deep lean there. Bit of back. Oh, my goodness. A bit of back. We can... We can have more back. This fella can do backstroke. Uh, you will get a bit of gappage, though, if you go too far back. Legs come out that far. You've got... Oh, it's a bit tighter going up there. Don't push it too far. But, again, nice and smooth, as you can hear. You've got a nice bendy knee. Is that a double joint? I assume it is. There you go. And get it further when I push it that far. Of course, you've got the old rocker. And you've got, you've got toe articulation. There you are. Look at that. Full toe articulation. So that is Nightwing's articulation. Now, we're adding a new segment in, comic book comparison. So for this section, I've gone deep into the sort of comic book library I've got here and found Hush, a comic I've actually read. So that's a bonus. And the image there you see on the front is what the back of the packaging is, but it is hard to see, but it is that front cover. So let's try and find some Nightwing segments in here. So we found Nightwing over here doing a sort of upside down dangle in the back cave, and here comes the, the figure recreation right next to it. Look at that, see? Perfect recreation of the upside down dangle. On the next page, we see Nightwing trying to comfort Bruce Wayne with the uh, Bruce hand on shoulder, and in comes the figure again for hand on shoulder recreation look at this exactly the same but no in all seriousness it does really look like nightwing from the uh, from the book so very impressed with this figure so far right before we get on to huntress i didn't mention to say that all mafex figures do come up with a stand so you might just screwdriver to tighten it up but it is quite a useful little display stand and i do use them all throughout the toy room right then so moving on to part two it is huntress herself so she does come clad in a full purple and black regalia there as you can see, again, another nice looking head sculpt from Mafex. You've actually got a female figure that stands up here. So that is always a bonus in the 112 scale action figure community. Female figures that stand up worth every penny. But talking every penny, um, at the moment, these figures aren't too bad for Mafex. The Japanese yen is very weak against the pound. So do order these directly from Japan rather than some of your more local retailers, I would suggest, because you are getting very, very good prices. These are about £65 each all in, which, including shipping, is excellent. So there is Huntress from the front. Side profile, we're not going to get a lot because the cape is in the way. And rear view, we're not going to get a lot because the cape is in the way. So I might have to uh, lift her cape up, but sounds a little perverted of me, really. So I will bring her in here for a closer a closer look. So you should get a nice view of the head sculpt there. As I've said before, well painted. You've got a nice earring detail. You've got the half crescent moons there. 
you might even i was going to say is that nipple i don't know if i should say that at all but it does seem you might have some i think it's just the angle of, of the lighting but uh, hmm well what can i say about that and for those of you who do want the rear view i want to see the back there very nice boot sculpting details there like a pair of wrestling boots isn't it really on huntress there but that's what you get under the cape in terms of accessories for huntress uh, not as much as you would get with nightwing but you do get this nice alternate screaming sort of head sculpt where it has the wind swept the wind swept hair there not black hair and no real shading in in this one but there is your alternate head look and in terms of hands again you've got four sets of hands you've got the big open splayed a couple of different style grippers and things you've got fists again on there on the figure and the big sort of bow staff baton sort of stick thing that she comes with is there so that's her accessories Right, then, female articulation time. Let's see what she can do. So head, again, we should get nice tilt to the side. You are going to get straight away noticing this long piece of hair sculpt here does get in the way. It is sort of kinked out to try and get out of the way, but you're not going to get any back. Uh, you will get you will get some down though. But get a nice bit of bit of rocker. But you are getting restricted, and this piece is again a stiff plastic, so that does kind of get in the way of articulation. Arms under the cape again, you will get a full T, says confidently. Not quite though, actually. I don't want to push it any further than that. It's feeling a bit tight there, so you're not getting the full T with her. You will get the double jointed elbow, but again, I'm not getting past 90, so definitely not as much as articulation as a storm figure. There you go, shameless self plug from Mayflex that I recently reviewed on the channel. But you do get the nice sculpted elbow pad detailing if I can get you a get you in there to see all that again it's like a, it's like a wrestling outfit the huntress isn't it you see becky lynch cosplaying as this you've got the is that you think you've got a cut at the the sort of chest yeah you do you're not getting a lot of movement out of it uh, again full side to side crunchy crunch not a lot of crunchy not a lot of crunchy crunch there so again not as much as the male figures but she stands up so that's an absolute bonus uh very 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 wide split pervert shot disgusting right then <laughs> we've got a uh, Again, uh, double joint, I would assume, but again, it's not getting much past 90. And your classic rocker and boot cut. So she will she will move around, but just not as much as Nightwing. But she stands up, so that's all I care about. Right, let's try and compare her to her comic book counterpart. Flicking through to find Huntress from memory. She's at the start of the book somewhere, so I will I will keep flicking. Oh, I just saw Poison Ivy. That's a figure I want from a Mayfair. Right, I don't think we'll do quite as well as a Nightwing with our poses because she's doing a lot in this fight. So we've got her down here kicking some kicking some ass down there. So I'll bring her in for my sort of recreation there. Kicking ass, it's all going on. And actually on this page, she's got a motorcycle, isn't she, if we flick over here. So uh, got a motorcycle up there. So um, could do with one of those, but that would be pricey. So that is Huntress and her comic book counterpart. But she does look exactly like she does in the comic which is really cool and the cape is fully bendy wire i think i forgot to mention that earlier but it is fully bendy wire down the side and the bottom so that's pretty good so as it's been like with all recent mafex figures i'm pretty impressed with these two in hand so they seem to have sorted out all their sort of quality control issues any loose joint or falling off part issues and overall these figures are looking really really good definitely the best dc sort of figures on the market Having been in and out of McFarlane more times than Billy Merrick around, um, it's uh, it's nice to actually have a DC collection I'm finally happy with. And I'm happy they're doing quite, this quite deep into Hush. They've definitely got Poison Ivy on pre-order. We've had Hush, Harley Quinn, Joker, Catwoman, which you will all see in a minute. And he has the sort of scale shot, as you can see, how they scale up together. I've tried to give Huntress her bow stuff there. And Nightwing's twirling his baton. He's trying to make use of his butterfly joint as well. So there's the figures overall. This might make a nice thumbnail. Let's get these in the display. So before I put them in, here is a look at the Hush Cube. So at the front there, you've got the McFarlane base. Here lies Jason Todd, Hush himself at the front. Then you've got Harley Quinn in the corner. It's even picking up my dirty glass, I think, here. So again, she's in quite the jumpy shoes. I've got Hush Batman himself over there looking rather good with his crazy long blue cape there is a black variant but i only have the blue one there's catwoman with an attempt at a pose not quite sure what i was trying there but they've definitely improved their articulation since uh, catwoman's days there is hush superman himself at the back 
I did manage to get that as a bit of a bargain, I think, because uh, the cape had a bit of a dodgy bit, so I managed to fix it and got it for sort of half price on eBay. So he's been overtaken by Poison Ivy. There is the poster I have in the back, which is the front comic, of course, of the Jim Lee artwork. And these really do look like they're, they're Jim Lee counterparts. There is Joker in the corner with his scary big long nose. And there's sort of a brief overview if I sort of pan down slowly of the Detolf cabinet there at the top with the lights on and all the figures inside. So as I'm sort of trying to balance a ring light on my belly to try and get this shot, I better try and get back into a more comfy position and try and get these figures in the cube. Right then, more ring light balancing. And here we go. Here is the completed cube. If I try and stand back, you will see everything in the display. And overall, very, very pleased how this cube is coming. Definitely the best, I think, overall DC display I have for the depth of characters. Luckily, Jim Lee used so many characters in the, the Hush story. It gives you a, a nice overview there of what we could be getting. So this Huntress has got the big cape I've put her at the back. So she doesn't block anything, so she's there at the back with Joker. And I've put Nightwing, of course, front and centre. You've got to have a bit of dick front and centre. What else can I say on this channel? So he's down there with his swirly twirly batons as well. And that's kind of where we are in this sort of living room setup. Hope you don't get any reflection here, because I am in my underwear, because it's so bloody hot today. So, And if you heard any dogs or anything earlier, because I had the door open, because it is... Rather warm, but I suppose that's been it, ladies and gentlemen. So that is Nightwing and Huntress from the Mayfex DC Hush collection. As I said, very pleased with these. Very pleased with Storm from Mayfex last week. So a bit of a hot streak of, a, of really good figures. So this is a nice enabling toy display, hopefully. If anybody that's missed out on any of these, you can still pick up some of these easy enough. But I'm sure some of them may be slightly harder to find now if you are trying to backtrack and trying to complete a Hush collection. So, I have been Jay, and this has been Jay's Toy Collection UK. Thank you for all the recent views and subscribers, everybody. We've absolutely shot up, and I'm nearly at 900 subscribers, so please do like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, let's hope the hot streak continues of reviews here. More figures to come, of course, and uh, a big toy room change. That's why I've been quiet the last week or so, because I have been uh, trying to change all the toy room up, so... Lots to come for the new double deep toy room displays. More will be explained on that in due course. So as I've said before, I am Jay. This is Jay Toy Collection UK. Comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.